sound like when the greatest of all time officially hits if. the open market? If. If the greatest of all time hits the open market. First time in his career, if that does happen. So, so what do the Patriots do? Well, Field Yates is reporting that the ball is in Brady's court to inform them what he wants and not the other way around. Nick, who do you think has the leverage right now? Team Brady or Team Patriots? This one, I think we, we all agree on. It has to be Brady. The, it has to be. I don't agree with the, that. Okay, so I was wrong. We don't, I was wrong for the first time. Two tonight. out of three ain't bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, 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 I don't know what leverage the Pats have. The leverage teams have in these negotiations is what the Cowboys have right now when we're talking about Dak. All right, we'll just franchise tag you. It's the ultimate power of all this. There's all this discussion about the CBA is going to be voted up or down. At no point did I see the players or the union say, hey, guys, let's fight on this franchise tag thing, which basically means none of us are free agents until two years after our contract expires. It's the biggest edge any ownership group has in sports is the edge NFL owners have over their players via, we'll just tag you and there's nothing you can do about it. But Brady removed that edge from the Patriots in this past season negotiation when they wouldn't give him a contract extension. He said, fine, if you don't want me, then, then make it to where you really don't want me and you can't tag me. So Brady can leave. Brady can leave and they, he can also, if he wants, drag his feet to where all of a sudden, if Cam is available, he's traded. All of a sudden, Teddy Bridgewater decides, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen in New England, but it looks like the Titans want me. Like, there, and then, and then the clock's ticking. There will always be spots for Tom Brady. There's 32 teams, and Canty, we're in an odd year. Three years ago, you looked at it. I remember talking about it the first year on the show, and it's like, you've got 21 teams who like their quarterback, eight teams who just drafted a quarterback. So you got only two or three teams that think they need a quarterback. Right now, you got like. Eight or nine teams that think they need a quarterback. So to me, Brady has all the leverage, especially because there are going to be certain teams that value him, not just as a football player, but as a marketing oh piece. Oh, my God, the that, marketing piece. But it, while it might not mean anything to Brady, it does mean a lot to his value. It does mean a lot to what his market will be. So to me, Brady's got all the leverage. No, he's got all the leverage, and to your point, because they can't tag him and they don't have a viable in-house candidate That's to succeed other, yep. Tom Brady, it just feels like oh, this Jared is a situation. <laughs> where What's wrong with Jarrett Stidham? <laughs> you think Jarrett Stidham's going to be the guy? I read my first right. article Did on Jarrett Stidham when, yesterday. Did, did you see great. when Jared Stidham came in in week three against the Jets what in happened? cleanup time? Well, that, that was an aberration. Right? Yeah, yeah, that that was an aberration. He threw a touchdown pass, but it was for the Jets. <laughs> Who had to finish that game, Canty? Tom Brady. Exactly. Tom exactly. Brady. So like, so no, that's, the point. Point. that's all you need to know about Jared <laughs> Stidham. Okay. All right, so I, I just don't feel like they have a viable option now. Does, does Bill Belichick have a contingency? Of course he does. Well, we just don't know what that is. But you also have to factor in the economics of the situation. If you don't resign Tom Brady, guess what? He's still counting $13.5 million on your salary cap. And that's something that's going to have to be factored in when you talk about who you're going to go after to replace him. Because if it is going to be somebody like Teddy Bridgewater, that ain't going to come cheap. So if it's going to be $20, $25 million a year, you have to tack on the $13 million in 2020. You're talking about allocating nearly $40 million to the quarterback position. Without so, getting a great quarterback. Without getting a great quarterback. So to me, Tom Brady has all the leverage in this situation. But I, I think this is also one of those things where the Patriots have set their number. And that's what happened in the phone conversation that Brady and Belichick yeah. had last week. Tom Brady heard something that he didn't want to hear. And I said it all along that if Tom Brady wants to get paid the most money, then he won't play in New England cool. in 2020. Um, go, go ahead. Well, I don't I know. I feel great. I, sorry. No, it's my, I'm, so, I'm so happy I can't wait to talk. <laughs> then, well, then, why do you think Brady has the, or why do you think the Patriots have leverage? Well, a few reasons, Dick. Okay. I think, I think you're right. I think Tom Brady has the legal and financial leverage. I think the Patriots have the emotional leverage. Okay. A few things I would tell Tom Brady if I was on the other side of the table. One, great haircut. Two, I would say, hey, Tom, nobody knows what we're doing with, uh, with the quarterback position. Canty hates Jared Stidham. We, we, I don't know what we're going to do. Guess what? Chances to win the Super Bowl. Chiefs, Ravens, 49ers, Saints, Patriots. We're still five, and nobody even knows what you're going to do. And I don't know if you remember, remember Matt Castle? Went 11 and five with Matt Castle. I'm totally fine. And then remember when Deflate Gate happened? Well, it went 11 and five, but you didn't make the playoffs. That, but that was a scheduling, whatever. I'll take 11. But you didn't make the playoffs. That's true. I mean, the goal okay. for the Patriots is always. Yeah, to but we have 11 and 5 still good, Canty. I'll take 11 and 5 next year. 
Okay. And then Deflate Gate, we went three and one. So like, dude, we're gonna win whether you're here or not. Oh, you're Would gonna you play hardball with Bernie? I'm not playing hardball. I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Okay, you're you're gonna tell him these are hardball. He's a system guy. You're gonna tell Tom I'm Brady saying we're he's winning, regard and I think he'll like that. I don't think. Oh, please come to the Chargers. We're lost without you. We need to sell parking. Oh my goodness. No, but what? Our popcorn sales will go what? through the roof. Our visor sales. Well, like, I, what's the most important thing that'll get his attention? We'll give you money, or we'll give you years. Another Super well, Bowl. Okay, but I'm sorry. You can't guarantee that. These two things you can guarantee to Tom Brady. What are those two? Of those two things, what would you be willing to give to get Tom Brady back if you're the well, Patriots? Well, Wilds would be willing to give him all of it. The Patriots seem to be willing to give him none of it. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, Tom Brady wanted an extension. He was the reigning league MVP, and while they had lost the Super Bowl, in that Super Bowl, he had set the record for most passing yards, breaking his own record. He had set in the previous year's Super Bowl, where he led a 28-3 comeback. You know what they said? We'll add incentives to your deal. You know, about eight million you can reach in incentives. He reached none of them, which wasn't really his fault. You could say it was a fault maybe of the product, the offense that was called. Maybe called so he wouldn't reach the damn incentives. Who knows? I don't know. People are saying. The, so the... The, then the next year, when he didn't win league MVP, but they did win the Super Bowl, he said, okay, that contract extension that I would have liked, I would still like it. They said, nah, bro, <laughs> no, we're not doing it. You gotta respect so, it. So you like, gotta respect like it. That is, so at that point in time, and this is the key to the leverage discussion, Patriots had all the leverage. Brady ain't holding out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Brady is Brady was a, a player under contract who it, there would have been no bigger shocking heel turn short of when Hulk Hogan came out with the NWO gear than if Tom Brady was like, I'm holding out of camp. I'm not showing up to camp because I want more money. They knew they had him. It, they had him. And so, but now he's got them. And I don't know about you guys. I have, this has happened to me very rarely in my life, but one time sticks out where I felt like I was in a negotiation, the other side knew they have the lever had the leverage, and they squeezed me. Mm. They squeezed me unnecessarily because they could. And two years later, oddly, by some turn of fortune, we were in negotiations again, they had made some mistakes, and I had the leverage. And I remembered it. And I said, maybe I wanna be here, maybe I don't, but I'm gonna make you sweat. Because of what you did to me, I remember it. Right now, Brady knows Jared Stidham ain't ready. He knows what the other market is. And Don Yee is telling him, his agent, hey, listen, they, they think you're overpriced. Wait till they see that Bridgewater is about to get 28 million a year. Wait till they see that Dak's about to get 35 million a year. And all of a sudden, they think you should play for 19. And so I just, it, if I were Brady, I'd squeeze him. And it may, maybe he's a better man than me, but I, the, if I've been squeezing negotiation and then I have an opportunity to do it back somebody, I'm gonna do it back to you. No, you're absolutely right. If you have a saying in the NFL, when you have the proverbial hammer, you better swing it because you don't get that type of leverage very often over a team. And right now, Tom Brady, for the first time in his career, has that opportunity. Now it just comes down to what exactly is it that he's looking for? Because Nick, you speculated, you said it's years because he's on the record saying that he wants to play to 45. Other people have said it, it's money. Don Yee has an idea of what other teams are willing to do. They had conversations with other teams at the combine, so he's got a range. When I was a free agent, my agent gave me a range at the combine, and Tampering. he told me this is this is exactly when it's going to happen. Yeah, 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 but everybody does it. I know yeah, I but everybody does it. So yeah. this is this is the reality of business in the NFL. So Tom Brady will have an idea of who's willing to go with years and money. It's just a matter of is that what he's looking for, and is he actually willing to go play somewhere else? What would you do? If you were Tom Brady. Well, I played somewhere for 20 years. A player's dream is to be able to start his career and finish his career with one franchise where creatures of habit. And, and Tom Brady, seeing how regimented he is, it would feel like he would want to go back to New England. Because, again, you're talking about the organization supporting you, being able to utilize the resources to go out and get the players to put around you in order you to do, take okay. advantage of it. But then there's also you have the best head coach in the National Football League. Mm -hmm. I mean, arguably the best head coach in the Super Bowl era. I, I, I would have a hard time walking away, away from that when it's ultimately about competing for championships. That's what, that's what, what I'm if, saying. What if that Nick great Kathy. head coach treats you poorly? Oh, you don't God. Feel like you Nick, appreciate you. he gets yelled at in Listen, meetings. Nick, 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 when it comes down to 
trying to win at the highest level, it's not necessarily all about feelings. Also, not in the NFL. Isn't the end not all about feelings. Justify the means. Yeah. Okay. I listen. I I, I can feelings. only. I try not. You guys know this about me. If an athlete makes a mistake off the field, especially when they're young, I I usually do that with a very deal with that very delicately because I'm like, oh, I totally could have done that or I did do that. I try not to judge people for making mistakes I would have made. So when it comes to these types of things, I try to put myself in that player's position. And if I'm Tom Brady, I feel this moment. Like I was taken advantage of. I didn't know it at the time, but I thought we had an agreement, an unsaid agreement that was, I'm going to, while I am the greatest alive, I'm going to take care of you guys from a salary perspective. So if at any point I'm not the greatest alive, you guys take care of the me. The reason they are the greatest organization is because they don't have those relationships with people. That's why, because it's always business, it's business, person. business. But it's this never is, personal. But this is where, but this is where, and, and I, Jen, I, that's the coach, that's the point Coach Mangini makes. A lot of people, smart people make it. So I'm not trying to dismiss it. But I think sometimes we talk with, with regular nouns, we need to talk with proper nouns. We're not talking in the general. We're not talking vaguely. We're not talking about a rule of organization. We are talking about a negotiation with one specific human being between another specific human being. It's not about the Patriot way. It is about Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. What have I earned? Have I earned the right to achieve the only personal goal I've ever set out? You know it, the whole world knows it. Plain or was I just a cog in your machine? And the moment you think I want a dollar more than the value you think I deserve, there's no loyalty. It's like you just got men in black neuralized, you just met me. Wait, what? what's your value? Nope, I have no idea who you are, don't know who you are, aside from the great haircut on you, see you later. If that's what you think about me, you can kiss my ass. Whoa, well, so geez. Up, but here's, here's, that's that, 750. And, and Nick, it's 750. My kids are watching. Nick, I hear.